Today I walk to my door and I find this massive box from the Jazzwares vault. What is good everybody? Today we are diving into this massive box of collectibles from the Jazzwares Vault. Huge shout out to Jazzwares and the Jazzwares Vault. I have no idea what's in this package, man. I have no idea what they have sent over today, man, but I'm very excited to unbox it with you guys. So I figure what better time than to do a My Damn Halls episode on this Jazzwares Vault box that we have. Now again, I have no idea what's in here. I, I literally have no clue. It's very heavy. I'm very intrigued. I'm very excited. I have no idea what we're going to unpack here today, but it should be fun, man. It should be a fun one. But if you guys don't know what the Jazzwares Vault is. It's basically their exclusive website where they sell Jazzwares affiliated action figures and collectibles. So you know your AEW wrestling, your Squishmallows, they even have some Star Wars stuff over there. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff over there and I'm excited to dive into this package with you, man. But Jazzwares Vault, Action Pack Collectibles, Big Jazzwares logo. I mean, this box is huge. I mean, if you look in the background there, this is like a standard, this looks like one of your standard moving boxes, but it's one of those large editions. But with all that being said, man, you know, there's only one way that we open packages, especially in a My Damn Halls episode, and that is with the good old trusty knife. I haven't done that in a very long time. Yeah! Felt good, man. Felt good. I don't even know what episode of My Damn Halls we're on, but it's got to be clo uh, close to 100. All right, man, here we go. We're going to spin this thing around, and we're going to slice it on this side. Slice it right down the center. Opening up our box here, man. Very nice coloration on this guy. All right, we're going to pull this out here. We got some blue wrapping paper. All righty, we have quite a bit here. We have quite a bit. I have no idea what the hell I'm looking at. There's so much here. All right, so here it says Jazzwares Vault, and it says, it's fandom amplified and it's vault and it's got all this stuff and I don't know what's in here It's just some shipper boxes and there's a lot in there so I guess the best thing to do is to take them one by one out of the packaging and then we will cut them out of their shippers now Again, man. I do not know what resides in these boxes. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh snap I see a ring of honor logo. What the hell is this now? I do know I think the young bucks and Brian Danielson. Oh my god in heaven. It's a Brian Danielson This figure is actually going up for pre-order on April 24th So is that two days from now or is that tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow this figure goes up for order. It is going to be the Ring of Honor Brian Danielson. So we do have this figure in the shipper. Oh my god, man. I'm so excited. Hell yes. I'm so excited! <laughs> so April 24th, this figure and the Young Bucks are going to be going up for order on Jazzwares Vault, man. So stay tuned for that. They also already put up the Kenny Omega and the Claudio figure, but let's get into our next box right here. We have a shorter box. Again, I don't know what's in these, man. So your, your guess is as good as mine. We're going to find out what we have in here. Alright, man. So the next figure is actually going to be a Halo figure, and this is going to be Master Chief, I think. Very cool for my video game fans out there. I always wish that they would make more video game related uh, action figures, and so this is a very cool one, man. Who doesn't have some really good Halo stories? And actually, at San Diego Comic-Con, I did pick up the Call of Duty Ghost exclusive figure, and so I will now add this one to the collection, man. This is awesome. Shout out to Jazzwares, man. Next up, we do have another figure in here. Here we go. We have a it's kind of horizontal here. It's got Jazzwares Vault on there. It's it's all this. So you're noticing a pattern. They all have a shipper within a shipper, which is usually something that they do on import figures. So it's kind of crazy that, you know, we're getting these figures on these, you know, Jazzwares related figures that are coming in here. But opening this one up, it does look like we have another Halo set. And I don't know exactly what's in here, man. We're going to have to, uh, I might have to unbox these because I got to figure out exactly what these are. But let's get everything out and then we'll pull everything out of the shipper boxes. Next up, we have another shipper box of course so we gotta unbox this one and now we got some intriguing things going on here all right now we're getting into it man we have a fortnite related set which is a very underrated set of figures the fortnite figures man and i dabble in some fortnite all right i don't play as often as i used to but i'd like to think i'm pretty good at the game and this is going to be a fortnite set which has some really awesome sets and action figures in it all right man this next one is a big one i don't know what the hell this is let's find out together oh hell yeah here we go we have a ring of honor set i'm guessing this is going to be it is the Ring of Honor 
Turner Young Bucks 2 pack, which is awesome. I can't wait to see what the packaging looks like, but I want to get everything out here first before we do before we look at these figures men on card. All right, man, this last one is absolutely massive. Good God. This, la this last one is huge, man. This last one is huge. And then we do have this little card that says prepare for a new drop from the Jazzwares Vault. Jazzwares Vault there, and there's a little QR code right there for you. So that's very awesome. All right, man, let's cut this big one open, and again, I don't know what resides in here. Obviously, I know all of the wrestling figures that are going to be hitting Jazzwares Vault, but some of these things are outside of my wheelhouse. But I always appreciate all action figures and collect. Now we have a Star Wars related item, and oh my god in heaven. We have a massive Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron set, and I don't know what this is. All right, so this one's actually already open. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. So we have the Star Wars 1 of 1500 Micro Galaxy Squadron 14 pieces here. Series 3, I do remember them having a set of this at San Diego Comic Con, and I was down to picking up this or the Call of Duty Ghost figure, but I'm not a big Star Wars guy, so I decided against it. So I'll probably give this away. I'll probably do a giveaway for this or something. Let me know if you're a Star Wars fan down in the comment section below. All right, man, let's see what else we have in these boxes. All right, we do have the Fortnite set here. All righty, we have... This is the Fish Stick 4 figure pack. 12 pieces, and there you go. You have four different uh, Fish Stick characters, and they're all in their different skins here. Very cool pack, man. Very cool pack. I didn't know Fish Stick was one of the more popular skins. I guess it is. We even have, like, all their different weapons and everything. Pretty awesome pack. Dude, Fortnite, I'm telling you, they make some of the coolest figure sets that you'll see. So we have our Fish Stick set, which is a funny thing to say. All right, we have our Halo figure here. So it is the limited edition vault exclusive Master Chief, which is awesome, dude. That's so cool. I've never had a Master Chief figure before. I haven't even had a, a figure or collectible from Halo before. And then the next thing here is this set. And this is... We got another big box set right here. All right, that's pretty badass. Big Shot Battle Pack, and it features all these different figures here. All right, man, if you're a Halo fan or anything like that, these are must-have. These are must-have. I like the scaling here. I like how they all look. You know, I'm no Halo connoisseur, but this is sick. We'll go ahead and throw all these boxes in here. And alright man, let's take a look at this Brian Danielson and these Young Buck figures because I'm very excited to see exactly how these things come. So when you when you get them from Jazzwares, they will be in their own shipper box. And then you slide this out and you have the Ring of Honor with the artwork. Dude, this artwork's beautiful, by the way. Jazzwares Vault Exclusive, 1 of 5,000, Brian Danielson, Ring of Honor packaging, which is crazy because there's no AEW logos or anything on this. So it says Brian Danielson, Ring of Honor there. And what's even cooler is... You you pull the sleeve off and it reveals the figure underneath right there. Jazzwares Vault exclusive. You have the Brian Danielson figure in there. American Dragon. You got Ring of Honor there. Brian Danielson number one, series one. Dude, how cool is this figure? Reminds me a lot of the old Fan Central Daniel Bryan. One of 5,000, man. These are beautiful. These look so good. And I like the sleeve. So you can keep them in the sleeve or leave them out of the sleeve. Or maybe you can put them on the shelf like this or like that. I mean, there's so many different display options that you can do if you want to leave these guys men on cars. So there is the Daniel Bryan. And then we have the Bucks of Youth over here that we got to get into. All right, we're going to open this up. And I imagine it's the exact same as the other. So yeah, you pull that out there. And then you have Matt and Nick Jackson. Spin it around, Matt and Nick Jackson. Very, very crazy that it doesn't say Young Bucks on there. It just says Matt and Nick Jackson. Then it has all of the Ring of Honor garb on there. So there it says five on the side. So I'm guessing that Kenny Omega and Claudio, I don't remember what numbers they had on the sides of theirs, but open that up and you reveal the Bucks underneath. Very beautiful beautiful in package, man. Got their cloth good shirts. Okay, so their tights, I don't think we've seen these, like, good images of this, but I don't know if you guys are seeing it on camera, but their tights are glittery. They have an iridescence on them, and they are glowing. So, you have the Killing the Business shirts. It says Young Bucks on their shirts, though, so that's interesting. But you have the Young Bucks with their flame shirts and their tassels. One of 4,000, Jazzwares Vault exclusive, but their pants have this emerald green glow to them. Kind of hard to see on camera, but it is there. Dude, these look awesome. Huge shout out to the Jazzwares Vault for these. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Again, these do go up tomorrow. We have the Young Bucks and Brian Danielson going up tomorrow, and I'm not sure I think the rest of the things that are in this box go up tomorrow as well, but I want to set everything up here. All right, fellas, here's everything that we have gotten from Jazzwares and The Vault in this video. A huge shout-out to Jazzwares and The Vault for sending this package over, man. I was really excited to open it with you. It was a great day of My Damn Halls, I think. And I'm excited, man. I, I definitely do want to review the Kenny Omega, the Claudio, the Danielson, and the Young Buck figures. If you guys are interested in those reviews, please let me know down in the comment section below. I don't think the fish stick and the halo and stuff would do too well on the channel here, but I don't know. Shit, if you want, me to, see, if you want to see a fish stick figure four-pack, man, you let me know. 
But this is awesome, man. Huge shout out to Jazzwares. I appreciate it so very much, man. This was great. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'd like to know if you guys are going to be ordering these figures down in the comment section below. And if you guys were unaware of them, again, all this stuff does go up tomorrow, man. So definitely stay tuned. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts all down in the comment section below, man. I'm getting the hell out. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. I appreciate all you fellas over there, guys. Thank you guys so very much for all that you guys do. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one.